ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and we all know that for several weeks now, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. This is the final week of eliminations leading up to next week's semis and grand finals and bringing us closer to revealing our new K-Check champion. So today, apat na contestants, all students of UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Anton is a BS Psychology sophomore and he is passionate about singing and he's actually a trainee of the UP Singing Ambassadors. His hobbies are reading manhwa and playing video games. Angel, on the other hand, is a sociology student and an active varsity member of the UP Street Dance Club. Besides dancing, she loves watercolor painting, makeup artistry, and tarot reading. Si Rohan naman currently studying geography but would really like to study linguistics instead. And aside from linguistics, his hobbies include Taylor Swift and listening to her music and Plants vs. Zombies. Last but not least, Ari is a second-year BA linguistics student and French is one of the foreign languages she's currently learning. She enjoys reading webtoons and watching Korean shows, J-dramas, YouTube commentaries, thrillers, and mysteries. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Unang-una, nandito po si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Nandito din si Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And of course, Professor Roman Lito Austria of the College of Fine Arts in UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure that you're acknowledged by me before you give your answer. Otherwise, no credit might be given for your answer. Remember that correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin. This is round one, question number one. The Paruparo Festival is held annually in the city of Dasmariñas, where colorful floats decorated with butterflies parade down the main streets. In what province can you find Dasmariñas? Angel. Cavite. Cavite is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What word may refer to a printed statement of charges? a bird's jaw structure, or a proposed law presented to Congress? Rohan. Bill. Bill is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What is the name of the barred spiral galaxy which was created from goddess Hera's breast milk according to Greek mythology? Rohan. Milky Way. The Milky Way is the correct answer. K check. This time in mental math, what number is twice the sum of 26 and 24? Rohan. 100. Rohan is on a roll. The correct answer is 100. K check. Question number five. What constellation and horoscope sign is also called the scales? Rohan. Libra. Talagang sinario sa mo yung onarola. Libra is a is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. This time about food. What country's cuisine includes dishes like tempura, sashimi, and teriyaki? Rohan. Japan. Japan. Japan is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. In sports. What is the name of the Olympic athletic event in which competitors use a pole to jump over a bar that is high above the ground? Rohan. Pole vaulting. Pole vaulting or the pole vault is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. What capital of Aklan is the center of the celebration of the Ati Atihan festival? Angel. Kalibo. Kalibo is the correct answer. K-check. 
Question number nine. Which gaseous element has the chemical symbol NE? Johan. Neon. Neon is the correct answer. K check. And question number 10. In the news, the government of Burundi closed its border with neighboring country Rwanda after accusing the latter of hosting rebels. In what continent can you find Burundi and Rwanda? Rohan. Africa. Africa is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Which actress played Jezebel in 2008 and Darna in 2009 in television? Uh, Rohan. Andretis. The answer is incorrect. The others may choose to steal. Uh, Angel. Marian Rivera. Marian Rivera is the correct answer. K. Chen. Question number 12 and the final question for this round. Featured on American singer Charlie Puth's single, Left and Right, which Korean singer teamed up with Jack Harlow in the hit song 3D? Angel. Jungkook. Definitely a fan of K-pop. Jungkook is the correct answer. k check. And that's it for our first round. After that round, we have Rohan in the lead with 80 points, followed by Angel with 40, and Anton and Eri with a lot of catching up to do. So ito na po yung ating paboritong parte ng ating programa kung saan kinikilala natin ang ating mga contestants. So let's start with Anton. Anton, paano ka ba nakapasok sa UP Singing Ambassadors? Was it a tough audition? So sa pagpasok po sa UPSA po, or UP Singing Ambassadors po, um, nag-apply lang po ako online sa... Nakita ko po yung Facebook po nila kasi sabi po ng voice mentor ko po, ay try mo mag-audition sa UP Singing Ambassadors. So, so kumakanta ka na talaga? Opo, as a so, training... So ano naman po. ang kinanta mo nung no? ikaw ay nag-audition? Isang excerpt po, ikaw, ikaw lang ang mamahalin. Parang paborito ng maraming tao yan. Baka pwede naman mag-sample ng konti. Wala po akong boses ngayon po. <laughs> <laughs> Meron ba namang walang boses na pumasa ng UP Singing Ambassadors? Sige, pero maganda ka baka next time di ka na makakalusot. Let's talk to Angel naman. Angel, you do tarot reading, di ba? Yes po. Can you read your own fortune? Um, it's not really fortune naman yung binabasa. More like yung energy mo currently or yung possible na mangyari. Ginagawa ko siya sa sarili ko, pero hindi ako nagtitiwala kung sa sarili ko. So, pina yung, pag nabalasa ko na yung cards, pinipicturean ko, tapos sinesend ko sa tarot reader friends ko. Tapos, oh, anong reader na? Ganun. So, meron kayong asosasyon ng mga tarot readers? <laughs> Konti. Mga two or three friends lang naman po. Interesting. So anyway, it's always interesting to find out more about our contestants. For now, paghahandaan muna natin ang round two. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, we have Rohan in the lead with 80 points, Angel with 40, and Anton and Eri with a lot of catching up to do. And as we said earlier, as we threaten to do, we will find more about our contestants. So we now go to Rohan, a geography student who would rather be taking up linguistics. So do you have plans to shift? At bakit naman eh? Gusto mo naman pala talaga ng linguistics eh, nag-geography ka. <laughs> Uh, nung last year po, actually, nung first year ko po, nasa linguistics po ako at nag-shift out po ako papuntang geography. Kasi nung high school po, PISA student po ako. So, may contract po doon na specific BS courses lang yung allowed. So, as of the moment, since kailangan ko mag-shift na kung hindi mga wala, mapubayarin ako ng, <laughs> ng scholarship ko nung high school. So, nag-shift out na ako. Uh, BS geography yung pinakamalapit po. Pero, Plano ko pa rin po talaga mag-ling afterwards. Grad graduate studies na lang, lalo na pong uh, speaker din po kasi ako ng minority language sa Bicol. So, mm -hmm. tas, uh, gusto ko pong uh, ilid yung pag-document po ng language na yun. Meron talagang, wala tayong magagawa, meron talagang kuminsan, shifting of interests. 
as opposed to contractual obligations. But in any case, Eri, maybe you can tell Rohan and our viewers what it's actually like to be a linguistic student kasi si Eri ay linguistic student nga. So what else besides French are you studying right now? According to my plan, I am supposed to take up two languages. And uh, since second year pa lang po, I just finished up French. So I'm still thinking of my next foreign language. Actually, actually po nung first year, magka-batch po kami ni Rohan. So friends na po talaga kami since then. And I know his uh, interest po talaga sa linguistics and passion. Well, sana friends pa rin kayo after today's cake <laughs> check round. So it's so very nice to get to know more about you. But now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize because in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Let's begin. This is round two, question number one. In geography, what is the name of the circle of latitude that contains the subsolar point at the December solstice, which is about 5,000 kilometers south of the Tropic of Cancer? Yes, Rohan? South Arctic Circle? The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is the Tropic of Capricorn. Question number two. What is the name of the Australian monotrim mammal with a flat bill, webbed feet, and lace eggs? Angel. Platypus. Platypus is the correct answer. K-check. Kuhumahabul na si Angel sa yo Rohan. Question number three. Which biblical character is Samson's Philistine mistress who deprived him of his strength by cutting off his hair? Rohan. Ay, nakalimutan ako. <laughs> Ari. Delilah. Delilah is the correct answer. Kay check. Question number four. The WWF is an international organization committed to conservation of the environment. What does WWF stand for? Anton. World Wildlife Federation. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is World Wildlife Fund. Question number five. Last January 2024, Lai Ching Te was elected president of what island country in Asia? Rohan. Taiwan. Taiwan is the correct answer. K check. In fact, pinatawag ng Chinese ambassador ang Philippine ambassador tungkol sa issue na to. Question number six. Who won a Best Actor award for his role in the film King Richard more than a decade after starring in the films Hancock? I am legend and I robot. Anton. Will Smith. Will Smith is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. Rian Malik Sige prior to the Philippines when she won the 2024 Australian Master of Amateurs Golf title. In what city, 800 kilometers from Sydney, did Rian win the crown? Eight hundred kilometers from Sydney is Melbourne. Question number eight: What do you call the classic Japanese art of flower arrangement? And I thought everyone would be racing to press the buzzer to say ikebana. Question number nine. Which song by the Four Seasons was covered by the Italian rock band Moneskin in 2017 and topped the charts in 2021? Eric. Begin. Begin is the correct answer. Favorite ko <laughs> Question number 10 in chemistry. 
What do you call any of two or more species of atoms of a chemical element with the same atomic number and nearly identical chemical behavior but with different atomic masses? Rohan. Isotope. Wow, isotope is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What 200 kilometer long island can be found between Negros and Bohol? Roman. Cebu Island. Cebu Island with confidence is the correct answer. K check. Are you from Cebu? Bicol ma. Bicol. And question number 12, the last question for this round. Taken from the Latin term for, to declare publicly, what do you call the part of a sentence containing a verb and stating something about the subject? Rohan. Declarative. The answer is incorrect. Erin. Uh, predicate. The predicate is the correct answer. K check. After that round, we have Rohan in the lead with 110 points, Angel and Eri tied for second place with 60 points each, and Anton with 10 points. Pero, kahit na nandiyan na ang mga scores natin, hindi pa po tapos ang laban. As we always say here on K-Check, habang may round, may pag-asa. At padating na ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik po ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. After that second round, we have Rohan in the lead with 110 points, Angel and Eri with 60 points each, and Anton with 10 points. And now, it's time for the ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan para sa round na to. Where correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. Umpisahan na po natin ang ultimate pagalingan round to be started off by Prof. Neil. Sino ang pangulo ng bansa na unang nagpatupad ng Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law? A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo B. Corazon Aquino C. Benigno Aquino III D. Joseph Estrada E. Fidel Ramos Siyang unang babaeng pangulo ng bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Corazon Aquino. Prof. Marla Distan. In botany, what process in plants involves the uptake of water from the soil and its release into the atmosphere through leaf pores? Rohan. Uh, transpiration. A. Respiration. B. Germination. C. Photosynthesis. D. Transpiration. E. Pollination. The correct answer is D. Transpiration. K. Check. Prof. To. Uh, in visual arts and design, uh, this type of balance refers to the exact repetition or correspondence of shapes on opposite sides of an axis or a point. Rohan. Symmetry. A. Actual balance. B. Asymmetrical balance. C. Radial balance. D. Occult balance. E. Symmetrical balance or formal balance. The answer is correct. No? Symmetry or symmetrical balance. K. Check. Profi. Ano ang partidong political ang pangunahing taga-suporta ng hukbo ng bayan laban sa hapon o hukbalahap? A. Communist Party of the Philippines. B. Partido Komunista ng Pilipinas C. Partido Liberal D. Partido Nasyonalista E. Partido Sosyalista Angel A. Mali A. 
itong original na Communist Party ng Pilipinas. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Partido Komunista ng Pilipinas. Okay, thank you. Prof. Marla? Which scientist is known as the father of genetics for his work on the laws of inheritance? A. Gregor Mendel. Ari. Gregor Mendel. A. Gregor Mendel. B. Charles Darwin. C. Louis Pasteur. D. Thomas Morgan. E. Alexander Fleming. The correct answer is A. Gregor Mendel. K. Check. Professor Tok. Uli sa visual design, arts and design. The dominant point or area in any visual or pictorial field wherever the eye is directed or impelled to look at. A. Point in motion. B. Focal point or focus. Angel. B. Focal point or focus. The correct answer is letter B. Focal point or focus. K. Check. Correct. For our third round, Sino ang pangulo ng bansa na may programang Philippines 2000? A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo B. Benigno Aquino III C. Rodrigo Duterte D. Joseph Estrada E. Fidel Ramos Angel Fidel Ramos Siya rin ang kauna-unahang protestanting presidente ng Pilipinas. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E. Fidel Ramos, K-Check. So, naungusan na ni Angel si Eri sa second place sa round na to, but you can still catch up. Prof. Marla. What is the name given to a group of stars that form a pattern in the sky? Eri. Constellation. Let me finish reading the question. As seen from Earth, A. Planetary System, B. Galaxy, C. Star Cluster, D. Asteroid Belt, E. Constellation. The correct answer is E. Constellation, K-Check. So, yan na nga. Naunahan na ngayon ni Eri si Angel for second place. But we still have another question and another round to go. So, nothing is final at this point in time. Prof. To. In painting, what is the practice or technique of applying small strokes or dots of colors to a surface so that from a distance, they visually blend together. This technique is associated with its inventor or creator, George Shura. A. Minimalism. B. Realism. C. Pragmatism. D. Impressionism. E. Pointillism. Angel. Pointillism. The correct answer is letter E. Pointillism. K. Check. Mainit ang labanan as we enter the last round in our ultimate pagalingan round. Which of the following is an ethnic group in Karaga? A. Bagobo B. Bilaan C. Mamanwa B. Rohan C. Mamanwa Makikitang maraming Mamanwa sa probinsya ng Agusan del Norte at Surigao del Norte. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Mamanwa Paycheck. Prof. Marla. What is the primary function of plant stomata? A. Absorbing water. B. Exchanging gases. C. Photosynthesis. B. Exchanging gases. The correct answer is B. Exchanging gases. K. Check. And last question for this round, Prof. To. Philippine art. Which Filipino painter created the mural, The Progress of Medicine in the Philippines, which is residing in the National Art Gallery of the Philippines? A. Galo Ocampo, B. Carlos Botang Francisco, C. Fernando Morsolo, D. Victor Edades, E. Jose Hoya. This painting is actually originally installed sa UPPGH. No? So, ang correct answer ay B, Carlos Botong Francisco. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Rohan, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 
230 points. We'll see Rohan again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for the last spot in our semifinals. And of course, thank you to Anton, Angel, and Eri who gave Rohan a run for this this day's competition and of course to the members of our panel of experts professor neil professor marla and professor to this has been attorney gabby concepcion join us again tomorrow for another round of k check